My name's uh, Dalton Brame from Cameron, Missouri. Uh, I'm a firefighter EMT full time and I have a wife, two kids, one on the way due in August. So pretty excited about that. Shout out to her for letting me come and uh, doing all the hunting I got to do this year in the first place. Uh, my name's Jacob Compass. I'm from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, down the boot hill. Um, I work for MoDOT as a land surveyor. I am an only child, currently single. Um, all right, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in there, my girlfriend's gonna kill me. <laughs> my name's Joey Goldsmith. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. For the past, I guess, four or five years, been constructing challenge courses. I have a beautiful wife and three kids. I've got a 18-year-old daughter, a soon-to-be nine-year-old boy, and a five-year-old son. I'm Paul. Goldsmith. <laughs> I live, actually live in Marietta, South Carolina. I have a wife, Sandra. We've been married now for 37 years, and only child is this one over here. Uh, we've been hunting together, when did we start? 17? Yeah, probably around there. Probably around 17 or 18 years old. So the last eight or nine years together, probably pretty consistent, I would say, at that point. I think pretty much every single year we try and get one hunt together, whether it be me film him turkey hunting, him film me in a deer blind somewhere, just something we can do together. That's how we became friends and it's just a good time. Yep, always fun. But yeah, I grew up basically all of my life hunting and it's just a part of, it's a part of who I am. I, I brought Joey up hunting and uh, I was brought up hunting by my dad and we have just always enjoyed hunting. My wife Sandra, uh, she's a real trooper. She Sometimes uh, doesn't appreciate all the hunting that we do, but she always manages to put up with it. We, we love her for that. Love her for a lot of reasons. We love her a lot for that. I have zero experience duck hunting, never been, so I'm pretty excited to go on my first one here. It's gonna be a good, good time in camp. I have slightly more duck hunting experience than Dalton, but not very much. I've three, three, four hunts maybe. So it's, this is our green does. We're, we're gonna learn on the fly and try and have a good time. When you give a couple hillbillies a free duck hunt <laughs> and a bunch of shotgun shells and take them to Arkansas where there's ducks all over the place, <laughs> they already want. We do, we do want to have fun and, and we're excited about the relationship building and, and getting to know the guys and um, and already having fun and talking to them. So, but you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be gunning for them. Yeah, we're gonna have a great time. I know we will. But we came here to play, and we're going to play, and hopefully we'll do well. But uh, but it, it, anyway, it ends up we, we're we're looking for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm a better I'm a better shot than he is. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Mark the tape. <laughs>
keep coming, boys. Just gotta warm up. The sun's gotta come out. Get that sun up. Never experienced anything like that. That definitely, I can understand getting up every morning for however long <laughs> to see that happen. Unbelievable. Stay down. Just wait for the shot call, guys. Go, guys. Hey, get down. Be ready for more. They don't know what the hell just happened. We got cripples all over. I killed a one or two or he's. Hey, just be ready too for more birds. Awesome, dude. One bird. Hey, I know we got a couple in the decoys over here yet too. And there should be something out here that fell. They're gonna land. Here. Let them spin, guys. They're gonna get in here. You better be still. Go, guys. Tried way too hard, Jimmy. I don't know you, how to not try. You had it right I know. to begin with. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Yeah. Don't remember what you had going uh -uh. on. You were the honor student. I won't call if y'all won't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him you can quit and ain't be out here by the <laughs> <laughs>
We got our war paint on today, boys. That's what we have every day. Yeah, that's ducks. the only point. There's just a break up. Break it's up like, the white off your face. Some people put designs and stuff on there. I don't yeah. know about that. I mean, it's almost like when you're hunting in a tree stand, you want to have a backdrop. So it just breaks everything up and it's not, you're not skylined or silhouetted. I mean, it's some kind of concept, from my opinion. But I'm no expert. We're headed in on a pond that we scouted yesterday. There were a good many mallards and a couple teal. Um, it's, it's near some flooded timber. So we're hoping that they'll be they'll be flying out of that coming over and, and sitting down in front of us at the blind and we're just hoping to hoping to make up some ground um, on the final score and bring it home with the experience yesterday and and everything that went down it's it's been really cool and we've, we've had a blast. blast it's been great yeah Kill them too. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm sorry. There's four. Four over top. There's a fifth. There's a fifth pop. So there's five right now. Not even close enough. Kill! Kill them! Kill them! I was honestly really worried that we'd start shooting like crap again. Oh, well, you were correct. We were correct. 100%. Already threw almost a box of shells. <laughs> but they've all been landing and staying out, out just out of just out of range. So they're moving the decoys now to try to get get them to pull in a little tighter when they come in. I've never seen anything like this. It's amazing. They're cutting out here is uh, so much different than South Carolina. <laughs> I, don't know, I was looking at that. I'm like, dude, you're sitting way lower than I am. <laughs> I kind of like it. Wing shooting is just hand-eye coordination more than anything. We ain't got much of that. <laughs> but just always try to kind of remember, take your finger and point where you want the shot to go. What is this? Is it real tree? Is that the original? That's the original real tree. Original real tree. Dude, I have worn my hands 
a couple hand warmers in mm -hmm. this thing for started out tens of tens of years. The ones you light, the little, the little sticks you light. And put oh yeah, thing. yeah, man. The mm -hmm. old ones where you you have to light some charcoal and you close the little velvet case. Hmm. But they get some of those get a little too hot. <laughs> those will light you up. <laughs> we had a guy start a fire in his own waders one time trying to light one of those hand warmers. The cherry fell off of the stick and went down in his waders and five minutes later the smoke boiling out <laughs> he caught himself on fire <laughs> you know it's a dangerous game out here we play Boy, that's pretty. That's a pretty well, so far this morning, me and Dalton have uh, kind of regressed in our shooting a little bit. The biggest tip he told us was, I think me and Dalton's issue was, instead of continuing our swing, so when a duck comes right. in, you have to you have to lead him. And I think our issue was, instead of leading him, we were leading him, and then we were stopping when we pulled the trigger and not continuing our follow through. I killed a lot. There's four. there's four ducks right up top of us right now. There's four ducks coming in. Yeah, kill him, kill him, kill him. They worked in great. I was waiting for them to say well, kill them, but they were in, in range there. We killed three ducks and about ten volleys. Shot at about sixty and killed three, so. We're just hoping that uh, well, maybe, maybe the afternoon hunt goes a little bit better. It might go better, but as long as we don't shoot better, we're in trouble. Yeah, we might see more geese, but we gotta start shooting better. That's the dang thing. That's teal. Here they come, here they come, here. Watch that drake. If that drake tries to get up, you shoot him. Watch this right in front. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill the drake on the water. Kill the drake on the water and kill them both. Kill them both. Kill them both. Kill them Got him. That's one from the water that got up. Boy, that one's gorgeous. Good Sit down. So it's 10 o'clock now. We're breaking down from the hunt. Uh, Came close to getting one limit. Uh, had opportunities to should, and should, should have. We, we had it um, but so we got we ended up with five. Um, what two gavel three mallards? Two gavel three mallards. And uh, so I think hopefully we made up some ground and then we'll we'll get out on the on the field with the geese and try to make up a lot more yeah. ground. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what's the deal 
was sitting right here because they're all we watched all them you know all them geese fly back in there we was driving in and he said that's the flock we're going after he goes the plan is this is their feed and the roost is over there he goes and there's water behind us the plan is to fly here to feed and then shoot back that way to roost Catch Through, when throughout coming. the evening, they'll just keep doing that. You know, right, there, right here. Don't know you don't know that. Well, that group went way out there and swung, didn't they? Right here, right here, right here. Right there, kill. No, not yet. Getting ready to do though. They're, they're swinging in. Here they come. Right there, they're flying away. Hello? Two. Right there. Was it a pain? Yeah, it's a pain. I don't see him. Hey, 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 hey. Are you shooting or not? I know that. Honestly, no whip. And a mile and a half. That was a big, big group, little group. Twenty. Okay. Good enough. Very good. They just lost a lot of elevation. There's two right here, two right here, right above us. First green head. Couldn't That's ask a for good looking bird right there. Yeah, you can't ask for a prettier one. Huh? How far did you lead that duck? About 10 foot probably. I'd say every bit of it. If not a little shorter, but he was uh, he was out there. This was Kim. Heck of a freaking shot. Man. Heck of a shot. We all do it. And turn and coast. Fly a half mile to come back a half mile. We are here and doing our wrap-up show of the Leopold's Hunt Wars uh, Duck Hunt Goose Hunt Edition. And we had an amazing time here in Arkansas with the Bell Gully uh, Outfitters and also Snow Goose Solutions. Huge thanks to those guys. Uh, they were amazing putting up the blinds, setting up all the decoys. I'm sure you'll see it. You saw that throughout the whole show. It was a really interesting hunt. It was uh, three days of, of duck hunting, goose hunting. And today on the third day was a, a duck hunt in the morning, a goose hunt in the afternoon. Um, as you know, we had a different point value for each of the species, which was really fun, and then a point deduction for each missed shot. We had a five point deduction 
uh, for each missed shot. And who would have thought that it would come down to that actual point deduction? It was pretty crazy to see these teams go head to head. Um, we have Team Country Strong, the Goldsmiths over here, father-son team, awesome job guys. You guys uh, finished with a 530 point score. Tell me a little bit about, or kind of talk a little bit about the, the shot deduction. Was it a lot tougher to hit these birds than, than maybe you thought with the wind and, and everything that was kind of going into it? Yeah, it was a lot tougher this morning uh, in the wind especially, um, but yeah, it's it's hard to hit them. They come in fast, and and so, you know, it's it's a lot of what we thought. Just that's awesome. Well, I guess my question is, did you have fun? Was it a great experience? Absolutely. That's yeah, awesome. we had a great time. Cool. We had a great time. Great. Well, then we've got the backwoods team. Backwoods here. We've got uh, Dalton and Jacob, guys. With a total score of 780, you are declared the winner of our Hunt Wars Duck Goose matchup. You've been looking forward to this all year long. Yep. I know you had some other hunts, Dalton, but this was kind of the one yep. with the Hunt Wars crew coming yep. out here to Arkansas. The deduction, the point deduction kind of played in, in with you guys. You started off with like a negative 25 score. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah one good. Each other. So, um, kind of just tell us a little bit, you know, as far as the experience and coming out here, was it what you thought kind of tell us a little bit about that yeah, yeah i mean it was it was better than we could have expected it troy to be honest um yeah that start for 0 for 5 right off the bat on <laughs> sunday afternoon was not what we wanted um you know but we end up coming coming up and making some good shots there the rest of that afternoon and then yesterday was was kind of tough with the goose hunt and today with the wind like he said it was it was a, a really tough hunt with the wind and then this evening it was all about coming out here and just having fun i mean the whole trip was about having fun but we had a lot of fun with these guys in the blind there's some good guys here uh, everybody the guides and everybody here was a good time to have and, and yeah i was I was lucky enough to draw an elk tag in New Mexico uh, before I put in for Hunt Wars and was lucky enough to draw this. It was just a blessed hunt. Hunting season in general for me, it made it before it even started. And, and to get here and finally have it happen, met expectations and beyond. So. That's awesome. Well, as you guys can tell, we always have uh, one thing on our minds here at Hunt Wars, which is camaraderie in the hunting world. We want to make sure that we have a good time in camp and that we, ex we give experiences to people that maybe wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. So. Congratulations to you guys on winning. Again, thank you so much. All of our sponsors, everybody who makes this possible, uh, the guides, the outfitters that help us in, in these hunts and, and the guys showing up, we're just super grateful. We hope to see you apply for season three and we will see you on the mountain.